A Cascadia megaquake is predicted to be North America's worst ever natural disaster. The fatalities could be fairly large. We're looking at a few tens of thousands of people, at least, on our coastline. We know the strain is building. That's quite harrowing to know that we could have the big one right now as we speak. But Cascadia is not the only populated region in the Ring of Fire danger zone. As the waters of the Pacific continue to drain away, they reveal another sleeping giant. Near the east coast of New Zealand, where scientists discover traces of an epic seismic event that reshaped the southern hemisphere. And ask, when will it happen again? The islands of New Zealand lie directly on the Ring of Fire. Small earthquakes shake the ground here every week. In 2011, the country's second largest city, Christchurch, is devastated by a magnitude 6.3 quake. I can confirm that there has been death. Killing 185 people. <laughs> 100 miles from Christchurch is the town of Kaikoura. Kia welcome aboard. Thank you. A peaceful holiday resort that's popular with nature lovers. Its deep, nutrient-rich waters entice whales close to the shore. This is the beautiful country. That is awesome to see. While these leviathans are Kaikoura's star attraction, Geologists now come here for a very different reason. New Zealand's geologists constantly monitor the threat posed by the faults and fissures that run under the islands. Trying to discover where the next big quake might strike. Ground surveys can help, but investigating under the waves has always been a challenge. Until now because the latest multiple beam sonar technology is opening up a hidden world. It's multiple beams of um, sound energy being released from the instrument on the vessel, and we time how long it takes for that beam to come back. We do what we call mowing the grass, and we're just collecting this continuous image of what the shape of the seabed is. And the shape of the seabed near Kaikoura is not what they expected. As the data comes in, it slowly reveals something astonishing and potentially lethal. Pulling the plug on the Pacific Ocean exposes the remarkable sight. Just half a mile from the town of Kaikoura. As the water drains away, it reveals the plunging walls of a vast undersea chasm. The Kaikoura Canyon. The Kaikoura Canyon it comes within a really short distance of the coastline out here, less than a kilometre. And from there, it drops down at 30, 40 degrees down to about 600 metres water depth. Then it carries on down to about 2,000 metres water depth. Stretching for over 37 miles, the canyon forms part of one of the deepest sea channels in the world. The walls nosedive over 6,000 feet. The depth of the Grand Canyon. Geologists wonder at the immense geological forces involved to create such a huge canyon. But also ask themselves, does it pose a threat to those living on the nearby coast? <laughs> 